some of the emails and comments I receive, they are pretty much similar. And I may save this video for people who ask similar questions. From what I see or from what I understand from the comments and emails, people are having lust issues. So lust, so pretty much sex and or masturbation issues. Okay. Listen, whatever you feed yourself, it is going to be in you. Let's say I eat some chicken, salad, berries, grapes, whatever. It is going to be in me, right? So I can't say why is this in me when I have eaten those things. So now those things are part of me because I ate it. Okay. Listen to this. If you are listening to music that is speaking sexually, like the lyrics are sexual, no matter if it is really light or really dark. If you are listening to music that is sexual, <laughs> it is going to be part of you. So how can you say why are you being tempted to be sexual when you are partaking in that sexual music? This is why I tell you all, stay away from secular music, please. Okay. Movies. TV shows. If you are watching movies or TV shows that are doing sexual things and you are entertaining yourself with it, per se, it is going to be part of you. This is why I tell you all, stay away from secular TV shows and or movies. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos about cats or <laughs> dogs, and I may watch something about the weather as well. But really, mostly, I don't really watch anything secular. So if you are watching anything with this touching and humping and stuff like that, of course, you are going to be tempted. It is going to stay on your mind because you are partaking of it. So why wouldn't you struggle with it when you are constantly feeding yourself it? Think about that. Friends, this is why I tell you all to stay away from sinful people. Now, it is one thing if you are ministering to a person about God. But we should not be entertaining ourselves with sinful people because I am either going to influence you or you are going to influence me.